Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm taking my graduation pictures. I just filmed this look that I did for my pictures. So I'll show you guys that, but before I show you guys that, make sure you like this video, comment, make sure you're subscribed, and make sure you have your post notifications on so you don't miss any future videos. I haven't uploaded in a while and I've just been super busy. I literally, the whole month of January was just very like depressing and I just haven't vlogged. I haven't really done anything to be honest, but this is my, can't believe I'm graduating in like two months. So enjoy this video. So I just quickly did my eyebrows, tie up my hair. I'm gonna start with my face spray. Hyaluronic acid. People often forget about the neck, but that's where you see some signs of aging too. So always moisturize your neck. I'm gonna prime my face. And then I just kind of like to wait a few minutes so that everything just sets in. A few moments later. I'm just gonna conceal my eyes a bit. Hula bronzer as eyeshadow. Foundation. And then I like to take a little bit of my foundation because it is a corrector and just put a little bit under my eyes. Oh, it's crazy to me that I am gonna be done school in literally like two months. I guess maybe I'll talk to you guys about that since I don't really know what else to talk about. But I am graduating in two months. School's always been like a weird topic for me because I never even thought that I would go. I had like a teacher in, I had a teacher in 11th grade who literally told me that I won't get in to the school that I wanted to go to at that time. So yeah, I didn't even think I would get in because of that teacher and come to find out she was just a really bad teacher because she literally almost failed the whole class and we all had to take like a summer course to upgrade that class and that kind of just ruined everything for me because my guidance counselor thought that you know I wasn't good at university level classes when really it was just a really bad teacher so they recommended that I should just take college level classes and you know I didn't listen to them. I took all university classes in grade 12 and I ended up doing really well and then I also didn't think that I would get in because my marks were all good, everything was good but the last month of grade 12 someone I was extremely extremely close to and my family passed away and I literally just couldn't go to school for like two weeks because it was just so hard like literally my whole world just kind of stopped and i just didn't really care about anything i didn't want to go anywhere i don't want to do anything and so my marks dropped a lot second semester of grade 12 and then i was just like there's no way i'm getting into university now because my marks were just so bad so i decided to just take some time off and figure out like what i even want to do because i didn't really know what to do and i just spent all my time like researching different programs different courses like researching different jobs i feel like i really need to make my face for this to work but yeah researching like different jobs and you know, education requirements for it. And then my cousin started going to math, I think during my second year off and he loved it. And then I thought about applying myself, but I literally thought like, I'm not gonna get in. After taking like a few courses in Edmonton, which is where I had moved to for a little bit because my parents had just moved out there. So I took a few courses, more like science ones because I was always interested in science courses, but I never did like super well in them in high school so so i took like a biology course a science course and another course about first nations because i was like oh that's interesting and i ended up doing like super good in all of the courses and that just brought my average up so much and decided to apply to math i literally didn't tell anyone because when i had decided to take some time off of school i faced a lot of like judgmental people kind of just not really in my family but like family friends and stuff just being like oh 
she's not gonna go to school like she's not gonna do anything especially when you're indian like people talk about everything so the fact that i wasn't going to school like right away right out of high school it was a big discussion but yeah when i got in i was super happy and the program that i wanted to do as well was something i was actually interested in i actually researched like all of the courses that are required for it and I looked at like course outlines what I would be learning in class because the last thing I wanted to do was go to school and learn about something that I'm not even interested in, and just to get a degree which I feel like a lot of people in my high school did not a lot but most of them and even like friends and stuff that I know just did programs that they think are good not really that they're interested in so I really took it serious I think my eyebrows I kind of make them a little more thicker when I fill them in and then I like carve them out and fix everything so okay so I really need to focus when I carve out my eyebrows so I'm just gonna do that and like you kind of won't be able to see I use like a really thin brush and I just take a little bit of the concealer and then I just use some dots and then I kind of just blend it all Oh, so I'm gonna do the first eyebrow. <sighs> That's the first eyebrow, and then I kind of need to like blend it out still, so I'm just gonna do the other one now. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Okay. I think that's good. Now I'm gonna start with my contouring. I'm gonna do my nose first. out I'm gonna take off my whatever I was faking but yeah so I got in and first year is kind of just general so you don't really have like an actual degree name yet you get to choose in first year based on like the classes that you took in first year so i already knew i wanted to do health studies which is just about all the issues in the healthcare system and stuff like that i took classes on that and then when i was when it came time to apply a lot of the program like people that had graduated from the program and we had kind of like a program fair type of thing so when i went there i talked to a few girls that were either like in fourth year or had done the program and a lot of them told me to just do a to do a double major which would be gerontology and health studies because they kind of go hand in hand and you're exposed to a lot more job opportunities when you have gerontology as well so also with the increase in older people population of older people is increasing a lot in the next 10 years so there's gonna be a lot of jobs with that so they really recommended me to do that i mean i put it as my second choice and i really didn't think i was gonna get in but um, i did get in based on my first year mark so that was good i was happy that i was doing something you know more like i'm doing a double major and it's honors program so it was happy that I got in but I was very like nervous as well to see if I would actually be able to do it and be good at it and fast forward now to fourth year and like I'm so happy that I ended up doing I ended up doing it I'm also doing a minor in mental health and a business certificate Ooh. and so I get a certificate and a degree which I think is worth it and it's only like sorry i'm getting so distracted by my makeup that i can't even talk but i'm really gonna hurry up so that i don't get late blush and then now i'm just going to do a bit of eyeliner so i need to focus for that so i'll be back Okay, so I'm gonna curl my eyelashes, but I'm really happy that I decided to come to MAC. Like, I liked my whole university experience, 
it was everything that I wanted and I made a lot of like lifelong friends during the experience too and I honestly didn't expect to make so many friends like when I started I just wanted to like do my degree and leave but I'm really happy that I pushed myself to be a little social I'm just gonna put on some eyelashes really hope these don't like come off or anything I don't really put them on that much and I kind of just do like natural makeup most of the time so let's see how this goes 2000 years later this is the final look I'm about to leave before I get late so I'll see you guys when I get to school actually I'm not even bringing you guys I'll see you guys when I get back <laughs> eventually <gasps> okay I literally just got back. I think the pictures came out good. I don't get to see them until like three weeks from now, but I think they came out good. I'm so scared that my eyelash was gonna come off. Like it kind of is a little bit, but I think in the pictures it was good. But yeah, I just wanted to finish this video with, I don't even know what I was talking about before. I just wanted to finish with, you know, don't listen to what anyone tells you about how smart you are, how well you're gonna do in school, whatever it might be, because those people don't know your actual abilities. They don't know you. And some people just have trouble seeing you go past the expectations that they have set for you in their mind and I find this to be true with just a lot of people that anyone that really that really doubts me or thinks that I'm not gonna be who I want to be and don't focus on those people get those people out of your life because anything you want to do you can do and just looking back at where I was four years ago compared to now is just such a big difference and even with like my mindset and the way that I think about everything it's just honestly if you work at it you can literally do anything but other than that I hope you guys liked my dysfunctional get ready with me video so thanks for watching make sure you comment like and share make sure you subscribe make sure you put on your post notifications and yeah, thanks for watching.